I was just so glad to invite it, uh, Mr. Evert to uh, to our exclusive interview with Ai Chongqing. So uh, I just heard that it's your first, uh, second time in Chongqing, right? Second time, yes. What's the impression of the of this city? Um, I think it's a city full of life. It's really bubbling and growing. You just come from Chengdu, like two days? I, I come from Chengdu, yes. Yeah. My, my home base is in Chengdu, oh, really? Sichuan, Dudanian. You know Dudanian? Oh, yes, I know. I know that. Yeah. So you, uh, how long have you been to China? I've been in China for almost two years now. Two years? And yeah, because of COVID. <laughs> you stay? You just I stay, stay here, here because I don't, I cannot go back. Okay. But I'm going back very soon. I'm going back home. Uh, yeah. Where you come from right now, or where is your home right now? Um, my my home is uh, in New York, but um, you know my my heart mm -hmm. is in China. Really? Yeah. Okay. I love Chinese culture. I oh, love yeah. Chinese people. Mm -hmm. I love Chinese history. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy here. Yes, I just saw many your many of your designs were. Uh, come from the inspiration of those so landmarks from Manhattan and also as well as uh, London. Uh, do you have any like inspiration you want to bring in with uh, related to Chinese culture? Yes, um, uh, in 2019, mm -hmm. I was planning the Silk Road project. Oh, really? For the you know the Belt Road, yes, Belt yes, Road, yes, Silk sure. Road, mm -hmm. uh, but because of COVID, it got cancelled. But uh, my inspiration is to build a collection around the Silk Road. All the different places in China, inside China, okay. like uh, Lanzhou, uh, Xi'an, different places. Get the inspiration from architecture, uh -huh. from uh, philosophy, uh, different places. Yes, that would be great. And I, yeah. I uh, highly recommend you consider about Chongqing as well. Oh, oh I, I want to. <laughs> I, I want to, maybe I have not mentioned to Phoenix, mm -hmm. but I want to form some collaboration oh, about okay. uh, Belt Road. I think uh, Chinese, China and the Chinese government, they want to promote the Belt Road yes. in the uh, future. The Belt Road Initiative, yeah, and uh, you can uh, do some collaboration with them to yeah. uh, to develop your project as well. But not, not just uh, about jewelry, but also about philosophy, poetry, food, right? Cool. Many different things. Uh -huh. Not just one thing, many different things. Okay. And I have seen you, uh, you are in your career with a fine jewelry for more than 30 years, right? Yes, yes. I started when I was very young. I started when I was 17 mm -hmm. in jewelry. Uh, from your experience, what, what, what kind of jewelry will you like def um, define as fine jewelry? Like, do you have any criteria of that? Well, I think for jewelry, jewelry is about happiness, right? So if I give you jewelry, you will smile, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. And then yeah. if I ask you about uh, even that earring or some ring, mm -hmm. you can tell me a story. Uh, yes. So for me, jewelry is about um, storytelling and happiness. So I think that uh, for me, jewelry is one big happy category, but function is very important. Function. Okay. What so kind of function? Function means you have to wear it mm -hmm. here or here or here or here. So function is always important. How? As a as a uh, as a fan of the uh, uh, the fine jewelry, I, I want to ask you, uh, why do you think the function is good uh, important as well? Uh, because uh, you have to wear it. Mm -hmm. So even though um, I met a very famous fashion designer mm -hmm. called Oscar de la Rente. You know Oscar de la Rente? Yes, for sure. I meet him. Okay. And I make a jewelry collection uh -huh. together with him. 
and he said there is nothing practical about luxury. Luxury should be not practical, but for me, mm -hmm. I think function is very oh. important. Okay, that got function it. Mm -hmm. should be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should wear all day, mm -hmm. every day. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So function, fine jewelry, Phoenix has the right thinking. Okay. They think about function. So, so your jewelry is more like uh, every day and uh, every day wearing is good. Every day wearing, yes, mm -hmm. every day. Okay. Yeah. It's not about like uh, dreaming or unpractical. Of, Maybe uh, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. <coughs> yeah, for some but special occasions. Yeah, right? special occasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you share with us one or two um, the stories that impressed you behind the jewelry? Uh, well, I have many, many stories. I can talk for hours <laughs> about stories. Okay. Um, but I, I can tell you, when I was working for Mikimoto. Mm -hmm. I work with uh, Scarlett Hansen, okay. a very famous actress. You know her? Yeah, yeah, no her? You know the movie called Lost in Translation mm -hmm. yes. with Bill Murray? She made the movie, and then she made the movie The Girl with the Pearl Earrings okay. about a Dutch artist. Oh, yeah, I know. Vermeer, mm -hmm. Vermeer, the mm -hmm. painter. Mm -hmm. So I meet her, mm -hmm. and um, we we make the pearl earring for her. Anything special for that earring? Um, special is like uh, the color is uh, like a golden color. Oh, like that's a, very rare to see. Not white, mm -hmm. not yellow, mm -hmm. but uh, in between. Oh. So we make the earring mm -hmm. for her and then take the picture and then the movie. Oh. So I work with her, become very good friends with her. I have her cell phone, I can call her, right? Yeah. Because when I put the earring on her, mm -hmm. she smiled, right? Beautiful smile. She's so happy. I think every, every woman or every girl, if you just saw jewelry, they will be happy. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I think that uh, for jewelry, it's really important to listen mm -hmm. to what the customer wants, what they want. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite pieces mm -hmm. of jewelry mm -hmm. is a, a diamond, green diamond, green diamond from Dresden, Germany. The diamond is this big, okay. this big diamond mm -hmm. in green, oh. green diamond. Mm -hmm. and when I was working for Harry Winston, mm -hmm. Harry Winston had the Hope Diamond. Hope, Hope diamond, diamond is a blue diamond. Okay. So I wanted to create some marriage between the blue and the green. How, how, how does it work? So, uh, so I, I arranged for the green diamond uh -huh. from Germany to come to New York uh -huh. and be display on display next to the, the blue diamond. Uh -huh. So green and blue okay. together. So you made made them uh, into one piece or no, they they just for for two hours oh, okay. they were together. Okay. They were looking at each other like a couple. Oh. Like lovers, like mm -hmm. looking at each other. Mm -hmm. Right. So for me, the Harry Winston Hope Diamond and the dress and green diamond are my true inspiration. I love those two pieces uh, because yes. also have the history and have the story and uh, many stories I can tell you but some stories are um, I know secret. private yeah private private, private stories yeah Fiona will thank you thank you a lot yeah thank you <laughs> Shishiani thank you so much thank you <laughs>